Hey, what's up? This is Yuda, and I want to talk about the new features in Live 9.7. This is a free update, and just a disclaimer, I am using the beta version, so when the official version get released, there might be a few small changes. Uh, so first, uh, the big change that affect all of us uh, is the new slicing mode in the Simpler. So here I have just a drum loop. Let's go to slicing mode. And by default, it's on transient slice mode, which we had before this auto detects the transients and add a slice point in each transient. And here we have a sensitivity knob that allows us to take it down or up. Next, we can also slice by bit divisions. Here you can decide the division and it will slice the audio equally according to the bit division. Very useful if you're using samples that you already warped and then brought into the simpler. Next we have the region, which will divide the sample into equally um, divided regions. You can have up to 64 as the amount of pads on the push. And finally we have manual, where we can manually slice by just double clicking in the sample display, moving it around or double clicking again to delete the slice marker. Nice, now we also have some really cool exciting new features on the push. Uh, first of all, all those slicing modes are accessible from the push. But uh, we also added a few other things. The drum rack. Um, here I just have a drum rack with a bunch of samples. Uh, you can click on layout. And where the loop selector was, now you have a 16 velocities pads. So the last pad you hit, let's say this hi-hat, now I have 16 velocities for that hi-hat. Nice. Uh, you can even change colors by just holding shift, hitting a pad. Now you can select the color and that pad will be color that uh, color. You can also uh, recolor tracks by holding shift and selecting a track. Let's give it a color. And even clips, let's go to session mode. Here I have one clip, shift, hit the clip, and you can change its color. Nice. Uh, we also have some additional visual feedback uh, features. For example, when I start recording, uh, and if I have the count in setting in Ableton Live, I will see a white bar goes uh, on the top of the display. Let's go to note, record. It's new, new. We can saw that. Nice. Um, we can also access the inputs outputs on the push, which is a big, big uh, feature, at least for my workflow. So if I go to mix, click mix again to go into the track mix mode. And here you have a new tab called inputs outputs. And you can change the inputs and outputs of each track as well as the monitoring state. Very useful. Nice, so this is some of the features that we got added in Live 9.7. I uh, hope you like it. Hit me up with any questions. This is Yuda for BitLab Academy.